Hit it, Lily. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> The Beeb's popular song, Sorry, a word some of his fans may want to hear after the singer walked off stage mid-concert in England on Sunday. Here's a video a fan posted on YouTube. With the screaming during these breaks, has got to stop. Drop the mic moment. Mm. Former editor-in-chief of People Magazine and our dear, dear friend Larry Hackett. Good morning. Is here. This is not the first time that it's, he's done it's this. It's not. It's not. And, you know, I think he's going through pop star growing pains. You know, he should go. There's a new movie out now called um, Eight Days a Week about the Beatles. If you want to hear skull stabbing screams, mm. go see that. That wasn't so bad. Look, he's growing up. He's been going through this for seven or eight years right now. And he's trying to bring his audience along and they're not ready to go. So I think he's going to withstand this. I think, like you said, though, we've seen these kind of petulant outbursts before. We'll probably see them again. Um, and, you know, he was having a bad night. Well, you know, <laughs> well, he said, I want to connect with you in the break, so stop screaming. I want you to hear what I have to say. But these are young kids at a concert. They're his believers, yeah, exactly. they call themselves. Exactly. But, but at what point, do, or do you think there is a point where these kids say, like, enough is enough? The kids? No, I don't think so. No, no, absolutely not. Look, I mean, he refused to do selfies a while ago. He got in trouble and he had his, you know, teenage bad years where he was misbehaving all over the place and they withstood that. They'll withstand this. I think the people in Manchester may be upset. And let's remember, he came back out and he apologized. So all's going to be forgiven. I think the trick for him is going to be the trick for everyone who became a pop star or a teen idol. Does the audience move along with him? He's doing the weird thing by trying to drag them along. Yeah, that's right. Usually they kind of sit back and let it happen. And the fact is, if you look at the Beatles and other bands from the 60s, the audience does mature eventually. And if you're worth it, they'll stay with you. If you're not, you get added to the pile of, you know, teenage pop ex-stars. Yeah, you matured as your audience mature along, along with but you. But people scream for me, and then they stop, <laughs> and then they start to well, follow. Well, tell you what, but he, he, I, I, he does make good music. That's what I say. And I, I'm yeah. curious, do, do you guys, Koki and Gio, and do, do you have any um, favorite Bieber songs? Who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Koki! Koki! <laughs> Elvis? Did you say Elvis? <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> well, G- Gio, I know Love you Love Me Tender. Do. Oh, yeah. Beauty and the Beat. When that comes on. Beauty and the Beat. Love Me Tender from El- by Elvis from Koki. <laughs> My daughter likes Baby, so I'm going to stick with Baby. Baby? You yeah. What do you mean? Huh? Yeah. What do you mean? Come on, Robin. That is, what do you mean? That's the song. The, uh, what, do you, <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah like exactly. That. Any other song called, I, I like called Right Here with Drake. Yeah, oh. you see, I was listening, just like you, I'm listening to the song and I'm vibing and I said, who is this? So I was Justin Bieber. I heard For a that second, one too. I was like, what am I doing? So we've forgiven but I gave here, it. apparently. Yeah. All is forgiven exactly. here. Yeah. Way, to, way to go, Koki, with Elvis. Way to, way, keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. <laughs> thank you, Koki. Geo, thank, thank you. Larry. Larry, thank you as well.